in this question, we have an ionic compound and we're told it's comprised of aluminium and a mystery element from period four of the periodic table. And they've given us the formula AlX3, where X represents the mystery element. Okay, so we know that in one formal unit of our ionic compound, we have one aluminium ion and three X ions, where X is the mystery element. So let's fill that into our table. We know we have one aluminium and three of our mystery element. Okay, now let's go and find out what we can from our periodic table. So let's find aluminium. Here's aluminium. It's in group 13. That tells us that it has a charge of three plus. And for, as for our mystery element X, we know the period, which is the row, but we don't know the group that it's in. So we don't know what ion it's going to form. So we can fill in, we know that aluminium is three plus for the charge of one ion. Remember, we don't need a positive sign uh, when we're typing in our numbers. We only need the negative sign for negatives. So the charge in aluminium is three plus. And let's just draw that out here. We have aluminium three plus. And we know we only have one of it because of the formula we were given. So we can already figure out the total charge of our aluminium ions in the compound. It was a positive three charge for one of them, and we've only got one of them. So three times three is three. So our total charge of our, all of our aluminium ions in the compound is positive three. Now we know that in order for us to have an ionic compound, the net charge must equal zero, which means everything in this column of our table must add up to zero. So if I have positive three for my charge on aluminium, my mystery element overall must have a charge of negative three so that the net charge can be zero. So I know in this box here, my total charge must be negative three so that it can balance out with the one aluminium ion to form an overall charge of zero. Okay, so for the mystery element, we've figured out the overall charge of all of those is negative three, and we know we have three of them. So we've figured out that three times something is equal to negative three. So that means that our something must be a negative one charge, because three times negative one gives us negative three. So we know that the charge of our mystery element, iron, must be negative one. And if we draw that out, just to sh show it visually, we had one aluminium three plus. If our X, our mystery element, has a charge of one minus, and we have three of those, we can see our total positive charge is plus three for our aluminium. Our total negative charge is minus three for our X, our mystery element, and minus three, positive three, cancel out to give us zero. Wonderful, so we now know the charge of our ion is negative one, and our goal is to now find our mystery element X. So we know it's in period four because they told us that in the question. So we know X is in period four. We also know it has a charge of negative one. So let's go and have a look at our periodic table. So we know it's in period four. Period four is here. So anything in this row could be our element X. Those are all things in period four. However, we also know the charge of the iron was negative one. And we know from our shortcut that anything in group 17 will form a negative one iron. So based on that, if we have a look down that group, the only thing that has group 17 and period four is bromine, which is here. So that means our mystery element must be bromine. So let's just test that now, bromine. Wonderful, okay, final step finding the name of our ionic compound. We have the name of our metal first. Aluminium is the metal in this compound, so aluminium. Then we have the name of our non-metal, which is bromine. 
but we have to add the eyed ending instead of whatever ending it has right now, which is een, so bromide. So on these questions, we're doing the same technique we've done before, but we're given the formula and we work backwards to figure out the charge of our mystery element. And then we can use that to know the group of our mystery element. And with the period from the question, we can find the identity of a mystery element and the name of the ionic compound.